Hi everyone, I'm Mary. This is my version of the cardboard x-ray tube. It's based off the Rock the Registry's YouTube video that's floating around on the internet. It's basically the same core design. I made a few adjustments based on personal preference. I have sliding collimators that are integrated into the box. So I made two parallel slits into the top inch of the box and there is a perpendicular slit that's also parallel about a quarter of an inch down from the side slit. So what you will see is you will have collimators that actually overlap and close up in a fairly perfect square like so. So when you actually collimate, they actually will force you to create four collimation. My light source is a single OED. It is a 250 lumen rating. Try to avoid lights like this type because you need to center this light under your crosshair or you're not going to get your crosshair showing sharply when you shine the light. But the inside is lined with foil as is in the Rock Registry's video. I'm not sure if it really does anything, but it really gives it a cool spacey design. Um, I have a compass set up on this side, so when I actually tilt my tube, it actually will give me a angle. Something more than a binder clip on a string. I have a rubber band wrapped around the side, so it just kind of snug against the upper half of the tube so it doesn't slide around too much and actually create some stability when I'm angling. Uh, another design element I did was I added a another compass here and this one's actually for the tabletop version so when you are doing skull work you can actually angle your tube as well and I actually have a really cool design element that actually will let me do tabletop and we will proceed to that in a moment something I've added that's not in the YouTube video is a vertical adjustment granted not everyone will have access to this because this is something I picked up when I worked in retail and they were shutting down the shop so I just brought this home it is a bag hanger that has a height adjustment so what I can do with it is I can make a vertical upright bucky I can actually draw my own bucky board. I measured out 40 inches, so I'm at a 40 inch SID. And what you can do is you can collimate your sides. This does require me to put down the phone. But what you can do is you can collimate and bring, close up your collimation. You, whatever your size you need. Of course, you will need to adjust your upright bucky to match your crosshairs, but that's an easy fix with tape. Another thing that I could do with this system that I can't do with that you can't see on the YouTube videos, I can also make this a tabletop version. But with the upright version, I can measure my angles. When I tilt my box down, I can actually measure out the angles and get a reading. And you can see that on the upright bucky, which I think is pretty cool. And with the same setup, I can do tabletop to do skull work. And I can still show an angle which is not showing up right now but just be mindful of your SID this is about 40 I do have a way of tilting the tube to measure angles that is the use of the second compass um, I do understand that not everyone will have a vertical pole to hold their x-ray tube 
but this is the best way that I came up with to solve some of the deficiencies that I noted in the original Rock the Registry YouTube. Any questions, you know how to reach me. Thanks and good luck guys.